regional and national action. Here's Bobby Chaffee and Rodney Rodriguez. Oh, it's <laughs> Monday night. You know what that means. It's everybody's favorite race to talk show back on the air again. The Rev Dutt Sports Show. Showtime Bobby Chaffee right here. The Iceman Rodney Rodriguez. That's that man over there. Welcome one and all to uh, the show that started it all. I like them Halloween vibes you were kind of giving off with the intro music there when we were getting ready. You like that? That's good. Yeah, we got Halloween tomorrow. It's cold as hell around here, and uh, so I think it kind of feels uh, a little bit like October, finally, man. It, it was, dude, I had to go out this morning, and I walked out. I was in sandals and shorts and all my regular attire, and dude, I was freezing my ass off out there. It's like, damn, I like the fact that it finally feels like um, October, November. It's about that time. It's about that time. Yeah, I mean, it is uh, It is definitely uh, November, not October. Well, I guess technically, well, no, it is still October. Yeah. I mean, the World Series is on the night, so it's not on Halloween. That's right. Yeah. Tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's uh, 31, 3110, October 31st, uh, Halloween time. So uh, hopefully all of you friends that are going out doing uh, trick-or-treating and uh, all the various things that you all do, hopefully you're going to be safe with that. I mean, don't be doing dumb things. I mean, because, um, you know, it's a... It's Check a, your candy. Make sure you get... Make, <sighs> make sure... Gentlemen, make sure... That when the milfs come to the front door, be nice. You know they like dad bods now, so just be nice to the milfs when they come into the door. That's right, because that's always a good sign. You can tell, you know, based upon how nice they are when they come up to the door with the kids and all of that. You get a good sense, you know. I, I think this year I may actually leave the lights on at my house. Um, well, we're gonna have game four. We'll have game four of the World Series going on tomorrow. So I'm not sure if I want people bothering me. Um, is it back to back? I thought the, I thought yeah, game four no, was gonna be on. No, no, you got three of them. You got Wednesday three of night them in Arizona. So so it's a it's gonna be all back to back right here as we uh, get set to go. And uh, you know, we actually did. Uh, I know I had to miss uh, Storm and Steve Sims. Uh, the famous Halloween party was on Sunday last night with him. Had to miss that. I was uh, just, I was sad I missed that, but I had other things that I had to yeah, finally get done you know, i had to tend to business but uh we actually did a halloween thing on saturday night and and my wife you know it's so funny with her when we're doing things you know it's like she always gives me hell because we're going to we're going to a party you know great party you know a bunch of great friends uh good friends of ours and, and some new friends that, that i met there on saturday night and she's always giving me hell she's like you know it, it's so funny with you because you go to these places and and you're gonna have to talk to people but but you don't want to talk to people. And I'm like, well, I mean, it, it's not, I don't know what, what is the deal with that? I, I mean, we sit here, we talk to people all the time and it is kind of one of those things to where when I get in public, sometimes it's like, I just don't want to talk to people. I, I don't, I don't know what the deal is. You just don't want to be bothered or you just don't want to talk to somebody. Uh, man, I, I That's two set. Those are mutually it's, exclusive. It's like, you know, I don't mind talking to people, but I want to talk to people about things that I want to talk about. You know, when people come up and they're like, and that's the funny thing with me. What always happens with me is when I go out in a in a in a in a deal like like on Saturday night, you know, some of those folks knew that um, that 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 I do, you know, sports talk or, or mm -hmm, whatever the mm -hmm, case is, mm -hmm. and you know, they come up and they want to like on Saturday night, they, they want to break down the Texas game, and I'm like, man, I don't care. Yeah, you know, I'm going to do that next week. I'm going to do that, you know, yeah, Monday through that Friday. Show, I, yeah. I don't care about that. And, you know, they want to talk about college football and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, I, I don't really want to do that right now. I, uh, I, I'm off the clock, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so, so it's funny. And, and then a lot of times, you know, people come up and they and, and to, to me, people want to do small talk. And I think that's why I've kind of talked myself out of out of being in real estate full time is like I just I don't. I don't converse well anymore, unfortunately. Hmm. That seems odd. I know, and it, you know, I, I've had I've had some folks. It's that, not it's not a midlife crisis. No, but no, I'm no, well it's, past it's, that. Yeah, I'm I mean, well past that. You know, I, I've had some folks. You know, even like before races, where where they come up and they want to they want to chit chat, they want to boom 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 just talk away, and I'm like an hour out, you know, from race time, and and it's like, well. Actually, one guy tell me he's like, "Man, you're kind of a dick." I'm like, "No, I'm not a dick. I, I'm I'm getting prepared to go do my job. I'm getting focused. Yes, I'm getting focused, and I, and I've got a job to do, and I, I don't I don't want to 
just bullshit at that time, you know? Dude, what's your take on birthdays at the racetrack? I mean, like, like I get part of what we do as announcers is to, you know, make people feel welcome and all that. Mm-hmm. The problem I have with the birthdays is that you'll get somebody to, I can't think of a better word other than pester, <laughs> will constantly <laughs> tell you about a birthday, a birthday, uh, birthday. You mention uh, one birthday, uh, and then everybody else's cousins, sisters, husbands, ex-wives, girlfriend comes up and has a birthday, whether it's within a week, whether it's within a month. And sometimes when you have, back in the day at at, at THR and CTS, Mm -hmm. when we had extra hands up there, like the Puppet Master and uh, Christine and a few other extra hands and helpers, if you will, it was easier to do the birthdays because you had somebody there to write it down and you wouldn't have people come up right in the middle of the damn race to try to say, oh, it's their birthday. What? I'm sorry, what? It's their birthday. Who? No. Oh, it's it's their birthday. Oh, okay, great. I'll get to it. And it's like, I don't know. I mean, maybe that, yeah, that's a. It was that maybe like you know singing violins to crickets right now. But. It's no. I mean, you know, back in those times, I mean, it always was, and 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 I was, you know, always the one that you know when I was doing stuff, and this was back before you know the streaming stuff where it was like dual, you know, broadcasting versus you know just doing PA and and so forth to where to where. I would welcome people to come tell me about the when I could do it in front of the crowd, and um, you know I would always say, "Hey, look, if you're if you're getting divorced, you know, let me know. I'd like to uh, address that." And it, that was always a big hit right there. But uh, I mean, the whole thing is when people come up with the birthday, you know, when folks walk up and it's like, "Hey, when you hey when you get a chance, can you uh, can you tell John Doe happy birthday from his and like naming all his relatives and all this different shit?" And I'm like, "Man, you've got to write this down." I mean, yeah, write it down. Or... Uh, write it down. Slip me something so I can remember to do this because, man, I, I, I mean, no offense, that's the least of my concerns. It, it, you know, when I'm trying to present a great racing program, it. Um... And the second rule of thumb: mm-hmm. just because you don't hear it doesn't mean we didn't say it. That's the whole thing. That that's the whole thing because a lot of that times... kills me. Sometimes like, I didn't hear it. Say it again, or they didn't hear it. Say it again. Well, I mean. Sorry, they missed out. Well, and and the other thing with that, you know, when people climb up me about, well, say it again, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. this is my show. I'm going to say it when I can, and um, you know, if if you're fortunate enough to 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 get that done, and I'm, uh, man, time is precious up there. I'm going, I'm going to piss people off here. I'm not the biggest fan of the whole shout out thing. I mean, it's like. I mean, yes, I love people to watch our races, uh, whether it's on Race On or Racing America or in Flow Sports. And I, I don't give a damn where you're checking in or if you're there. But I mean, honestly, I'm glad you're watching. But I don't need to tell you thank you for doing that. And, and I mean, fair you, enough. You know fair enough. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's like I don't. I mean, I know that some guys are like, you know, it's great. I mean, I'll give you a shout out and all that. I don't have time for that. I do not have time for that because I'm 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 sitting there trying to condense what's going on with the race, trying trying to watch all the different action that's going on, and um, it, it's not the place for me. I, I'm not doing a DJ show. I I'm not Mixmaster X. I'm not Mixmaster R up there trying to present whatever. I'm um I, I'm trying to do a show is yeah. what I'm doing, and and I totally get. I mean, it, it's all different styles, and, and I know that folks do things a lot of different ways. That's just not the way I've done it. That, yeah. That's just not. And 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 again, I mean, if you guys, and that's a whole thing. The the other part to me that that gets a little crazy sometimes is like people will blow me up on text or messenger during a race, and it's like. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I can't see. I'm, Every I'm, once in a while, I'm not watching my phone. Well, man. because the way I'm that I do the way phone. that I do timing and scoring, I have like one on the phone, one on the tablet, one on the other tablet. So sometimes I'll see a message pop up. Yeah, but it's like the random shit that's like, hey, you know, something's happening in the cup race. I, thanks for ruining that for me, but well, you know, you know, if I go to a race and let, let's say I'm working for Owen Pittman on a weekend, um, Owen Pittman knows how to get a hold of me if he needs me to do something yeah he'll send me uh, he'll send, he sends me yes, a text he knows yes. or he'll get somebody on the radio but because you and yes, i are not we yes. you and i usually don't have receivers no and i don't want one because when people see us with receivers on they assume that we made the call <laughs> and they want to yell at us because we're the only official they see even though we're not officials yeah yeah and and that's a whole thing with that and i mean when people are like 
and the whole other thing is like if you have a problem with your race feed i mean if your internet is crashing and for whatever reason race on texas isn't working don't message me i can't fix that especially in the middle of the race i mean even if i was producing the thing i can't sit there and fix that i mean i'm sitting there trying to do you know my job i mean so it, it i think a lot of folks don't understand exactly what we do um um <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it's hard to explain, uh, but but again, it, it's like maybe Caleb I, can help us figure out how to do all of that at one time. Which we will talk to him. Great lead in right there. We'll talk to him around seven thirty-five. Coming up here in just a couple of minutes, we'll talk to Ryder Wells, who has had quite a uh, quite a year uh, with his rookie season on pavement and doing stuff on dirt. We had a guest uh, that that was slotted in there. We didn't post that because it still wasn't sure and, and it still hadn't been confirmed. So we might be freestyling. We might be going NASCAR for a little while there uh, talking, to, which there's plenty to talk about when it comes on the NASCAR stuff. Yeah, well, you know, the Denny Hamlin, uh, a lot of our favorite drivers beat Denny Hamlin to the championship four. Well, and that's, you know, something that you see right there, you, you know, with Denny. It's like, um, you know, still getting still getting beat up because he can't, he can't seem to find a way to uh, win a championship. But, I mean, one of the things that I, I want to beat up on, I mean, I, I want to go in there if we're going to talk about stuff. I want to talk about RCR. Because to me, RCR <laughs> is uh, yeah. We talked. Yeah, we texted yeah. about that today. Yeah, yeah. It's like everybody, you know. I I have uh, I haven't watched NASCAR since RCR, you know, because RCR is the staple of all this. I'm like, uh, okay. Have you watched him lately? Uh, I don't think that that's uh, exactly still the uh, standard that you want to be, um, you know, measured up to at this point. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's one of those things where both guys did it right. Um, but I mean, I, I didn't get to see the whole thing to know whether or not if if Sheldon Creed doesn't win, do they both get in, or is it one of those where he needed to win? Did they both need to win to get in? I I don't know. I didn't get to watch that that section of it. So yeah, I didn't I didn't know all the details on on how that was supposed to work. But uh, the the one thing that I do know is that um, it uh, man, you got a pissing match going back and forth to where you know you got Andy Petrie and. And RC himself is all pissed off and doing all these different things, and and it's like, come on, man, you're supposed to be the flag bearer here of uh of NASCAR ownership, and uh, you're you're kind of making yourself look bad, in, in my opinion. But uh, what do we know? I, I, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. But uh, we can we can talk about that a, a little bit later on. But uh, lots to break down. I mean, we the cool thing is we're into. Uh, Big race season, and like you and I were talking about before the show, Bobby, we're sitting here talking about. I mean, like with Texana, with the, with all those races that are coming up, man. This is um, this is big race time, and you got a lot of money that's going to be on the line, and uh, it, it's about to get it's about to get a little bit heated right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. When it comes time to um, for the big checks to get cash, those big nuts jangle together, and they sometimes get tied up. Mm hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that that's exactly what's going to happen here as uh, as we start diving into this. But uh, looking forward to the program tonight as we get set to uh, talk to some really cool folks. Uh, Ryder Wells is coming up here in just a minute. We will pull him uh, right in here very shortly as uh, we get uh, set for revved up. And let's uh, let's dive in there right now. Going to the hotline for the.